Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fran Bo. Um, all right, if you recall, we... Oh, my goodness, where am I? We went down the well. So now we're in this place with a weird cat hat. Huh? What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh, no, your head. Kitty? Wait just a second. This is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Okay. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. You have some food. Is it good? I won't lay down in that thing. Alright, let's go. Let's go over here. Let's see if anything over here. Nothing over here for us. Alright. I closed the window so the cold wind stays out. Alright, let's see. There's probably something up here we can take. I want the knife. Oh, a sharpie, sharpie, sh a sharpie, shiny knife. It can be good to have you. Um, uh, baking soda. King Leo baking soda. King Leo baking soda. Baking soda. This always makes the biggest cupcakes. All right now, I think that's it for over here. All right. So now we're going to explore. What's this? Mr. Midnight. Those girls. They took my kitty. Check the spices, Captain. We're gonna need I want salt. Salt, a very good ingredient. Pepper, always good to dress up the soup. What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. Alright, I think that's it for over here. Alright, so let's grab the matches off the table. I have matches to light up the darkness or just for fun. Black candles to light up the darkness. Drawer is empty. All right, <clears throat> let's pull this chain. Oh, ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Uh, turn the light. Oh, that moved. All right, let's go take a look at that then. Oh my gosh! Oh, hello, little babies. Who sewed so you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? Oh, you're. Midnight, are you here? Kitty? Meow. Uh, it's you. Oh my goodness, my beloved friend, I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. I don't know if that's the voice I really want to use for it. I'm, I'm on the fence about it, to be totally honest with you. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. That sounds so dark and sinister. I don't want to do that either. <clears throat> um, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. That's a little better. I miss you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really miss you. Oh dear, Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear, I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human. But it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you. All right? I love you. Oh, how are ya? Let's go in this room here. What's this? Tweezers to pick up. 
pick up things that my little hands can't. Hmm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Secret bottle with a secret inside. Yeah, well, maybe we can climb. We can. All right. Can't get there from here. I need a bridge. I have a bridge, do I? I do not. Okay. So let's just close the pill bottle and oh, oh! You scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? Uh, I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran both. That's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them. Right. Slow down. How is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with Mommy and Daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but Mommy and Daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. I'm not hungry. Just tell me who told you about me. Are you scared, little friend? Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage. Hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He is my best friend. We've always set him free. Tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah! And I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. This is just the, uh, it sounds just like the absolute, you know, story tale ramblings of a, a ten-year-old. And it, it's kind of funny how they did that. I like that. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old, but I have to turn eleven soon. And you? We are sixteen years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. I'm not stupid. And I do have family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot, you asked for it. If you don't do what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. You are evil and poisoned, but I'll do whatever you say. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Here's the recipe. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Lost. Oh, man, I exactly want to do it. It does that. Why can't you do it yourselves? 
Make it. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is that you are like this? How is it that you're like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. But it was not. <laughs> he decided that we should spend eternity together, even though I hate this fucking bitch. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. And because you have been a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. Oh, please let me talk to him. Let me give him some food. No, you can't. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? <laughs> I'm gonna cut you in your face, you bitch head. Hi. Hello, hello. Who are you? Can you hear me? I'm Fran. Oh my goodness, the smell. Ooh, that smell! Stairs end up in a wall. That's odd. All right. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? Antonio the Greatest. It is. That's cool. Oh, record player. I wonder if it works. I truly don't care if it works. But it is. All right. So... Woman. I like the blue rose. Whoa, hey, how are you, buddy? It's, it's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Alright, well, let's take a look at this. We'll see what this is. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, ha hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Manambu kaxni o manai erk bontidir ibir ish ibir mon. Kagsni mabuka ir ibir fiwern. Fiwern. Yeah, no, thank you. I don't want to shout those things. They sound very derogatory. I feel like you have been derogatory. I need to go home. Ooh, I wonder if I can grab... Yes, the board. All right, that makes sense. Let's talk to the frog. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm the code, and I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Oh, no shit. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can float away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and a cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. Ribbit. That's terrible. Ah, wrong person. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever girl, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. Hey, girl, ribbit, ribbit. Please save us all. I really want to ribbit the hell out of here. Fair enough, Mr. Toad. Alright, let's, uh, actually, now that I have that piece of wood, I wonder if I can use it as sort of a bridge to bridge the gap between this and that. Along with this wood, it could be 
good for something. All right, now I'm gonna go cut the bottle. I'm gonna go cut it. down to the water. Alright, let's go grab the bottle. What the hell? Alright, cool. Um, this is gross. Let's take the tweezers. Alright. The world hides the truth from you. you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and you never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the ex executor of the ritual which would be me. We got the five black candles. Oh, we found those in the door. Ashes to perform a pentagram. A blue-bloomed moonlight rose. Salt and pepper and hair from the person you want to bewitch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Oil. Pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Bon de ir ikran o ir begma. O ibir nami bir. Irk bon te did ikran o ir begma. Huff me mon dime goff mia. Ibir ek itios irnimi bome. Ibirim ishne. Oh! Alright. Cool. So I don't know. I think that possibly I might have to do that. Let's, uh, what's this? And get ashes from the fireplace. Cozy and warm. Oh, they put some flowers in it. It has ashes inside. Oh, alright. Well, that works, I guess. Alright. Take this, use it with the typewriter. The bad recipe. Typewriter. <laughs> yeah, look mischievous. Types in hair from your head. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so now what I want to try to do is use this on myself to get blood. Oh! Ouch, that hurt, but now I have my blood. Alright, now let's see what else we can do. I have everything, but I need a blue, blue, moonlight rose. Which, I should know exactly where to get that. Remember that thing that said it's like a seed? Alright, well, let's take a walk on out here. Now we want to go... Oh, hi. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast, and let us know when you are ready. What the fuck is... No, I don't want to. Why is there blood in that? Is that the head of a young virgin? Psst. I think I need help get rid of this bag. And I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. We're going to get out of here and this bag will disappear. I'll take it. You're ready to free me. Bye. Alright, cool. So now what we want to do is... Put that in there. It's going to do 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 grow, and now I have everything I need except for the hair from her head. So now, what you need to do is go back in here and go find this bitch. And our bitches, I don't really know. Are they one or two people? I don't, I don't know. Technically, I guess you could say they're two. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hey, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. You must have forgotten. You said I had to follow this recipe very strictly. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There, now get prepared. All right. So there's the hair. I'll let you know when I am ready. You dirty bitches. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's blood on the counter. That is super amazing. Oh, there it is. All right. We need to get this cauldron right here. Now what we need to do is go over here. I should have done this earlier, and I actually totally forgot. Um... Now, fill it up. And now we'll take it. And now we're going to go. Combine that with that. Oh, actually, that's right. You can't combine it. You have to come over here. Make sure your window's closed, by the way. I found that out before. To light the stove, you have to make sure your window's closed. Fire. Now we're going to use that with the fire. And now we can add all our ingredients.
right here where it's burnt. You can see that something has occurred here before. That's why they did it like that. Now we add the candles. Now we light them on fire. Pretty fire, candles lit. Oh, that's, that's creepy. All right. Show the girls the potion's ready. All right, now that the potion's ready, let's go get them. Let's go get these bitches. Let's go get these bitches. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. All right. I love how she does look really scared just, like, talking to them. Like, like a ten-year-old would probably legitimately feel about... Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. They know they need to drink it. So she dumps it. That's why I don't get... They know they need to drink it, but they allow her to dump it on her their heads. And now I'll say the words. Bonte dig er ikran er ir begma. Oi beer. Nami beer. Ir bonte dig er ikran. Begma hoffman mondim gofmia. Iber ek itios ir nimi bomeg. Iber isne. Uh oh. Wait a second. Third, that is not the right spell. You tricked us. Oh gosh! Wow! Oh, well, they're probably dead now, I think. Yep, alright, I'll take their key. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. Thanks for the key! Is it Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Well, don't be so impatient, Mr. Cat. I actually did see one somewhere. Ah! There it is, right there. Okay. We'll use this. This key was for the keyhole. Oh, and there's a puzzle, which is a giant pain in the butt. Alright. Basically, we're just going to try to make this go as quickly and smoothly as possible. i got to find the one which actually catches on it and spins. Uh, there is one on here that does spin, and I gotta. I actually have to be able to move it for this to work. This is a pain, though, let me tell you folks. This is a big pain, so. There we go. Alright, there's one. That half is done. Now we go like this. time I did this, it was a lot more difficult, I do recall, so, because it's like, you have to get in a rhythm and figure out which way the best, best way is to go, and there we go, everything is all good, it opens it up, thank you for being patient, last time it took me probably seven or eight minutes to figure out how to open that up, and that was just the only thing you had 
you end up getting pretty frustrated because when you want to move something somewhere and you see the move you need to make, but you can't make it. What is this? Two skeletons? Well, first of all, it's the key. Oh dear, this must be the key to the cage, finally. Duotine, my pills are called Duotine too. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. Oh man, that that is just rugged. Sister promise, we, Clara, and Mia Buhalamet, Buhalamet, or Buhalamet, promise to revenge the unfair destiny Itward decided, for that name, Itward decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we kill, we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Ew. Maybe that mommy wasn't a good mommy at all. My mommy was very good. She hugged me many times. Oh, two-headed doll. It must be a really old doll. Oh, shit. So basically, alright. That's all set. Now, we can go upstairs. And free Mr. Midnight! Hopefully, if this key works. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out. Let me hug you. Yay. Oh, a tearful reunion. That is awesome. Yes. Uh, that is amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That is very good. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free. Fran, my good friend. Oh, my dear. We have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. Alright, so that's where I'm going to end this episode, so thank you everybody for watching, as always, if you liked the video but haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to click the subscribe button, and uh, if you can give it a thumbs up down below, that would be stellar, uh, also drop a share to, you know, your Facebook, Twitter, family, friends, whatever, anybody that you think, you know, would want to at least check this out, I would be, you know, very, very grateful, and also uh, leave a comment in the comment section, let me know what you think of the video, also let me know what you think of this game so far, I am enjoying the absolute poop out of it. It is so much fun. It is really cool. The artwork is so just, it, the way the art is done is really neat. Um, and it definitely keeps my attention. This game has definitely really kept my attention for the past uh, week, two weeks ever since I bought it. And even before that, when I was watching other people play it, um, it, it has kept my attention. So I highly recommend buying this. Again, it's only $15 on Steam. You really, it is worth it. It is definitely worth it. So, you know, buy it, show a little bit of love. So thank you everybody for watching. I will see you in the next video. Stay classy.